Welcome to the State Television Company of Western Armenia, today's broadcast. The speech of Guillermo Garamanian, ambassador of the Republic of Western Armenia to the Republic of Argentina. Armenian St. Sarkis Church in Dingranagert will be rebuilt. State TV and radio channels in Uruguay will cover this topic. Baku demolishes the building of Artsakh State University. Unique ex exhibits from the collection of Yerevan History Museum were presented in China. Eastern Armenian at the Defense and Security Eurocenter exhibition. Guillermo Garamanian, the ambassador of the Republic of Western Armenia to the Republic of Argentina, gave a speech. It was as follows. We all know very well that the Republic of Western Armenia is a state for global geopolitics, which, after being recognized by the world in 1920, appears on the international arena and throws the invented geopolitical order into crisis. The world's most powerful countries will commit to honoring that recognition and confronting geopolitical allies such as Turkey and Azerbaijan to protect the Armenian people who have to immediate tangible economic interests. These officials who dread an Armenian national interest are negotiating with the enemies of the motherland. They have de decided to choose the native people of Western Armenia as their main opponent, that is all of us, instead of treating us as indivisible friends. The goal of the Embassy of the Republic of Western Armenia in Argentina is very ambitious. We don't stop at the formalities of the, its constitution and aim to write one of the most glorious pages in the history of Armenia, trying together with all the authorities of the Republic of Western Armenia to create an Armenian revolution in the conscience of every Armenian and in every community, so that the entire Armenian diaspora will stand up and completing the Republic of Western Armenia provide adequate means to realize and lead the Armenian myth of the 21st century, which should be the restoration of our ancestral lands. Dr. Guillermo Caramanian, Ambassador of the Republic of Western Armenia to the Republic of Argentina. The destroyed Armenian Church of St. Sarkis will be rebuilt in Tigranagert, province of Western Armenia. The works are planned to start on July 14 of this year. A draft has been developed for the restoration of the church for a long time by the St. Kirakos Church Foundation, which was approved by the Council of Monuments of Turkey. Within the framework of the draft, the Ministry of Culture and Tourism of Turkey allocated 5 million Turkish LRS, more than $155,000. But for a full compilation of the draft, it is necessary to find one more honorary. It is worth reminding you that the church was also damaged by the strong earthquake that occurred in Turkey on February 6, 2023. The House of Representatives of Uruguay, unanimously with 74 votes in favor of the 74 deputies presented the session, adopted the draft law, declaring April 4, 24 as the day of remembrance of the genocide against the Armenians. And the state TV and radio channels undertake to address this topic simultaneously on April 24 every year from now on. We learn about this from the Facebook of the Embassy of Eastern Armenia in Uruguay. The Member of Parliament highlighted the importance of the adoption of the law in terms of condemning crimes against humanity, thus preventing their recurrence and rejecting denial. It was noted that Baku carried out the forced deportation of 120,000 Armenians from Arsakh, Nagorno Karabakh last year with impunity and continues the cultural genocide even today. The Member of Parliament also emphasized that it is a matter of pride for them that Uruguay was was the first to recognize the genocide committed against Armenia, and now it is becoming the first country in the world to legally oblige the state TV and write a chance to address the topic simultaneously on April 24 every year. After the complete the depopulation of Artsakh on November 23, 2023, by the decree of Wilhelm Aliyev, the University of Karabakh was established, which should operate from September 2024 in the city of Depanagert in the building of the Artsakh State University. The academic platform monitoring of Artsakh cultural heritage warns that construction works are underway and the entire facade of the building is covered with decks. All the cladding of the building that was done during the last renovation of the building has been removed. The inscription State University of Artsakh in Armenian has already been removed from the main facade. It is likely that the inscription No Wisdom and Wisdom No Many Languages is Genius will be removed as well. Artsakh State University was founded in 1969 and in 1923 and received an independent status. Before the completed occupation of Artsakh, the university had five faculties, 15 chairs, about 3,000 students and 200 lecturers. The library of the university had more than 100,000 pieces of literature, a publishing house where the periodical scientific bullet in Armenian Science Journal, University of Artsakh, were published. The monument directed in memory of 75 students who died in the first Artsakh war was placed in the yard of the university. 
The exhibition title Flowering Pomegranate from Land of Noi was opened on Internet Museum Day in China. Ninety-four unique exhibits from the collection of Yerevan History Museum were presented. 1820th century's traditional costume carpet, silver jewelry, embroidery tableware, as we learn from the press release of the Armenian Chinese Partnership Center, the number of daily visitors to the exhibition has exceeded more than 10,000 since the opening day. After the opening ceremony, the deputy director of Yerevan History Museum presented the history and culture of Western Armenia and the capital in a lecture. The exhibition will run until August 18, continuing important traditions in the chair of Armenian Chinese Cultural Cooperation. Eastern Armenia will be presented for the first time at the Euro Satori exhibition of ground and the air defense and security, which will be held from June 17 to 21 in 2024 in Paris. The exhibition will host more than 1,800 participants from 90 countries, as well as around 98,000 visitors and professionals. This will provide an opportunity for Armenian companies to present their technologies and solutions for the first time at the European International Exhibition in order to sign contracts. During the exhibition, the Franco-Armenian Forum will be held at the pavilion of the French Defense and Security Industry Organization, dedicated to Eastern Armenians' needs in the field of defense and current cooperation with France. This was all for today. Goodbye.